Halloween is literally around the corner, and if you didn't already know, it's actually my birthday on Halloween. So I thought it would be extremely rude to not do a Halloween episode. Now, I do appreciate that it is literally coming our way, but perhaps you're planning a Halloween or an October wedding for 2024, so this one is for you. If you are having a Halloween wedding this year, I salute you, my friend. It's a great day. It's always been a fantastic date to have a birthday and another fun fact is my son was also born on Halloween so not only do uh, I have to trick or treat on my birthdays now but I also basically have to hand over my birthday to my son. He's now carrying that baton so my birthdays are spent trick or treating at children's parties. But anyway that's a story for another day. Let's dive into this week's video. I thought I'd talk about three fun ways to add a bit of a Halloween twist to your wedding design because it would be rude not to talk about it. Hello lovely couples and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, wedding planner and owner of Bluebird Creative and Bride Academy. I bring you tips and tricks for the modern day couple as well as digital downloads. So my friends, Halloween themed wedding, three ideas, here we go. The first one is probably pretty obvious but I think it would be rude not to include it and that is obviously mini pumpkins or large pumpkins or gourds as I think they're called but basically gourds are like mini pumpkins um, and you can get the white ones as well which are obviously very wedding-esque but I'm totally in for the orange vibes this year and the autumnal colours and I think they look really cute. They can also be very cost effective instead of having loads of flowers as your centrepieces. If you are a little bit restricted on your budget, you could have a beautiful display of little pumpkins on wood slices, that kind of thing. You could even have some moss and some lovely candles as your centrepieces and you are literally not going to be blowing your budget. It's also really on theme and super cute. My next one would be, my next uh, decor item to add Halloween to your wedding design would be candles. Now, I think this time of year you've got to candle it up anyway. It's all about the lighting, the mooding. You're gonna have the darker evenings coming in. I think daylight savings jumps in mm, a couple of days before Halloween this year. But if you are going in for the theming, definitely get the candles going. So even if it's just pillar candles in the old sort of glass votives, you can have them as your table centers. It's gonna be darker by the time you come into your wedding breakfast, so that's gonna be epic and moody. You can have all those pumpkins around. Again, like I said, wood slices, moss, you know, some leafage, foliage, really quite moody. But also, I am not against a black candle. And Esther and Eric, they are my favourite, does not have to be Esther and Eric though, just a taper candle, taper dinner candle, in a brass gold candlestick, black, can actually look so elegant, literally so elegant, but also very Halloween vibes and just awesome. So three of those per table, for example, for a round, with your pumpkins, maybe even your pillar candles as well if you're really going for it, quite Halloween-y, quite vibey, totally here for it. On the candle topic, I can't not include this because it's super fun and I actually want to do this in my house, but I'm throwing it in. If you want to go a little bit more out and a little bit more extravagant, then I highly recommend a Harry Potter candle ceiling. I feel like this is just... Can you imagine a wedding with the whole ceiling or just an area, maybe the dance floor, guys. Oh my God, the cogs are going. Can you imagine this on the dance floor? You've got the ceiling of all the hanging candles, which are battery operated. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link them below. This is what I'm gonna buy for my house. Where well, you have a wand and it turns them all on and they're hanging and lit up. That would be so cool above your dance floor. I mean, literally, and I saw somebody do this on TikTok recently, which is what I'm planning on doing in my house. They also got some LED light strips and you, they have an app where you can set it to lightning. And then she stuck a load of cotton wool. I'm just stealing this idea. If I can find the credits for whose idea this was, then I will absolutely share. But I'll share all these items as well. She stuck all the cotton wool on some board on top of the LED stripping and then hung all the candles. So it literally was like a lightning sky with all these candles. It was just epic and it made me immediately think, yes, 
dance floor vibes, Halloween wedding, this, I have to share it, which is basically why I've done this video, because it was awesome. So, number one is your pumpkins, number two is lighting and candles, I mean, I've given you three ideas for lighting and candles there, so um, you've got a few things to run with. And number three, the final idea of adding Halloween theme to your wedding, what about if you had some really fun cocktails or you added Halloween into your food or into your drinks? So you know you can get like the dry ice and you can lift up a cloche hat and like the smoke's coming out or you can have that coming out of your drinks. I'm trying to give you suggestions that aren't too cliche or aren't a bit too much. You know, I could turn around and say, well, you could do a Halloween fancy dress theme. I mean, that's not really my kind of vibe, but you could definitely add these little elements that just kind of give it a bit of fun. So definitely like a bit of dry ice with the food, with the drink, that could be super fun. Imagine a bar with all these like dry ice sort of like cocktails for the, for the drinks reception or the cocktail hour. I absolutely love that. Anyway guys, there are my crazy Halloween ideas. I will link everything that I've mentioned below that I can do for you and enjoy. If you check out our Amazon link, that will take you through to all the items for the candle ceiling as well, which makes it a little bit easier for you. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's any themes that you would like to see me discuss or come up with some ideas for, then absolutely pop those in the comments box below and I will perhaps pick some of my favourites to do some videos on and give you some ideas for your wedding themes and your wedding designs. But anyway, guys, as always, have an amazing week. I will be back next week with some more wedding planning goodness. Until then, see you later. Mm -hmm.